Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a good evening. Man, I, I hope your garden is doing good. So in today's video, I'd like to talk about soil. Uh, good soil, how to make your soil better. How to improve your soil. What happens if your soil isn't good? What do you do? What shouldn't you do? You know, things like that. So if you're a beginning gardener, uh, been gardening for a year or two, you really want to watch this video. I'm going to tell you the, the, what I feel is the most important thing that a beginning gardener needs to know about soil. Um, so we're going to get right into it. Now, if you've watched my videos, you know I've been kind of battling with some stuff. Some stuff's been growing good. Other stuff, not so much. My sweet corn come up. And uh, I had a, a video on, on corn germination, but this was something different. The stalks themselves looked good for a while. And then I started getting ears on. They turned a little bit yellow, the stalks did. But the ears of corn were really small, you know. Uh, that really set off an alarm you know I've never had that growing sweet corn so I started doing some research like I say I had other things that weren't doing quite so good but I, you know it was just how, how come this is doing so good and this ain't so I started doing some research started looking at stuff and I did something that I normally just don't do I would never recommend doing this I went down to my local farm store and I bought a home soil test kit. I don't really recommend doing that. I was trying to verify uh, a couple of things. If, if I want a really accurate soil test, I'm going to have it professionally done. Okay? That, that's all I'm going to say. So, I'm going to put a picture up. And I'm going to show you the results of that test. Now, the two that I was really most concerned with, the one with the green cap, that's my pH. The one with the red cap, that is my nitrogen. Now, the blue and the yellow, okay, um, that's phosphorus and potassium. I didn't even really like, like the one with the yellow cap, I didn't even like how you looked at that to determine what it was. I'm not even going to talk about those two, okay? Um, the phosphorus, the blue one, I think it was a little bit low, but other than that, I'm just worried about the nitrogen and the pH. Now, the pH is a very pale green. According to the chart that came with the test, I'm probably around a 7, a 7.5. My nitrogen, if you look at that one, it's a pale red. You, for a, a good high nitrogen, it would be a lot darker, according to the test that I took. Now, <clears throat> most plants like a pH between 6 and 6.5. There are variances uh, but I feel like that is part of my problem. My pH is just a little bit too high. My nitrogen, when that corn started turning from a nice dark green to a yellow, that's a nitrogen deficiency. When them ears got kind of stubby, that is a nutrient deficiency. Okay, my soil just is depleted. And it dawned on me, uh, I haven't gardened in four years. All that stuff that I did to it, it's not there anymore. Okay, it's used up. So here's what I'm going to tell a beginning gardener, uh, somebody that's gardened for a year or two and had a lot of good results. You got to feed your soil. That's the most important thing. You have to feed your soil. Okay, sooner or later you are going to deplete those nutrients. Anytime you plant something, if you put a tomato in the ground uh, and it produces, 
a, a, a fruit, a vegetable, if you plant potatoes, corn, whatever, you are taking stuff out of that soil, you have to put back in. It's just the way it is. So how do you want to do this? There's a surefire way that can't go wrong. I've talked about it in other videos. Organic matter, compost, things like that. It will balance your soil out. You, you know, it, it will, it's going to help my pH. It's going to raise my nitrogen. I'm going to use green manure. Okay, I've pretty much gave up on planting anything else this year, and I'm just going to start putting in alfalfa and clover. It's going to help break my soil up. It's, uh, uh, alfalfa is a great nitrogen fixer. It's going to pull them nutrients from way down in the ground, going to pull them up. It's going to fix nitrogen. When I cut that off and I till it in, it's going to add a lot of nitrogen to my soil. It's just, it, it's going to take a little bit of time, but that is an all natural, all organic way to improve your soil in your garden. Okay. Now, why did some stuff grow good? My okra did great. My cucumbers, my zucchinis, I, you know, I had several things really do good. Well, I was able to fertilize them a lot easier than I was 11 rows of corn. I could come out with some steeped rabbit manure and put it on my four or five okra plants. You know, that part, my cucumbers and things, it was just instead of water, our weather here was so hot and so dry. At first, I, and I, I think that was some of it, but at, at first I thought that was all of it, but it's not, you know. Uh, like how I planted my tomatoes. I did everything just like I've always done. But I just don't think I, I had enough there. You know, they started out good. Everything looked good. But then I just don't think I had enough to where they got the like they usually are. Same way with the corn. I don't think I had enough nitrogen in my soil. You know, they just ran out. So I'm going to start working on it. I'm going to maybe do another video or two on how I'm going to fix this. Now, here's a, a really big tip, okay? One, I've said it in other videos. If you're going to get hay, straw, grass, leaves, man, maybe not so much leaves, but hay, straw, grass, things like that, uh, from somewhere else, Please make sure you find out if they have sprayed this, okay? If you can. You don't want to take um, something that has a weed killer or something like that and put it in your garden. If you can at all avoid it, you know, that's just, uh, that's kind of a real big thing. Another one is, if somebody gives you some helpful advice like, I got this spring where they said, well, you ought to put some lime out there. I'm glad I didn't. You know, it would have made my problems worse. This is why I say get a really good soil test. They'll tell you what you need to put on, how much you need to put on. Um, because once you add lime, you can't get that back out of the soil very easy. You know, it's pretty much done. So, guys... Again, it's been a great year gardening. You know, I haven't got to do it in years. I'm not unhappy at all. I just wish some things had done better. Looking back on it, there's nothing I could have done any different. Um, but it just, you know, I, I learned a lesson here. And uh, so I, maybe this will help you where you don't have to go through the same thing I did. So that's the video. I hope it helped. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, let me know how your garden's doing. Let me know in the comments. And other than that, hey, man, you guys have a good night, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.